Welcome back. Let's take a look at today's trending stories. Let's it do is it. time for Hot Topics. Starting off with some very sweet news. Uh -huh. It's not all about that bass for Megan Trainor <laughs> these days. Now it's all about that baby. The singer and her husband, Daryl, they announced the birth of their first child, Riley, on Instagram over the weekend. Both stars sharing photos of their son. So originally her due date was Valentine's okay. Day. She had Riley on February the 8th, but she still says that her husband gave her the best Valentine's Day present ever. So congratulations yeah, to them. I love them together. They're so cute. So um, I love this. Congratulations to the new parents. For sure. You got that song in my head now. All about that baby. <laughs> You're welcome. About that baby. <laughs> Will Smith stepping into hosting duties for a new Netflix docuseries. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Amend the Fight for America explores the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which in 1868 promised liberty and equal protection for all persons. Smith also doing double duty by executive producing the project along with Emmy winning writer Larry Wilmore in addition to exploring the early beginnings of American citizenship and what it meant for present day America. Amend also features narrative performance by such actors like Mahershala Ali, Diane Lane, Samuel L. Jackson, Pedro Pascal and Yara uh, Shahidi. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, what is it? Uh, this is going to drop on Netflix February 17th, tomorrow. So check it out. So NWA's BFF, Mahershala Ali, is making an appearance. And your BFF, Pedro Pascal, Man, also Pedro. a part of this. Yes, that's a true color, a true true detective, right? Yes. Uh, yes. And the Mandalorian represented on uh, the show. Very yeah, cool. for sure. Yes. All right, well, McDonald's getting an early jump on St. Patrick's Day celebrations by bringing back one of its classics. It's not St. Patrick's Day without Shamrock Shakes. You should know... Uh, Stephanie drinks. is here with us in studio. She is super excited about the Shamrock She's Shakes. <laughs> fist pumping the air it right now. It is available right now, Stephanie, in uh, participating locations. Customers can also enjoy the Oreo Shamrock McFlurry, which I have not tried, but it sounds delicious. I would love to try that. Um, so that's back, which they brought that back in honor of the Shakes 50th anniversary. Um, here's a fun fact. The Shamrock Shake has been around since 1967 when a McDonald's owner in Connecticut came up with a treat. Huh. Sales of the Lucky Shake helped fund the first Ronald McDonald House in Philadelphia. Jason, are you a Shamrock Shake fan? I should be. <laughs> What about the Oreo McFlurry that's minty? Because I want to try that one. I want to try both of them, actually. I haven't ever had one of a each, shamrock please. shake. Yeah, one of each. Can we order that? I haven't. Maybe we should get one, and what? I should try it on the show for the first time so you can see my reaction. You've never had a shamrock shake? I don't think so. No. Really? I've been missing out my whole life. <laughs> Your whole life. I'm getting thumbs down from everyone in the studio. Okay, right? well, we, have to, we have to make this happen for us in studio. We have to get a shamrock shake, and then we've got to try the Oreo McFlurry. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll make that happen. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, if you're looking to change things up this year, here's something to go nuts over. Yes. Planners looking for someone to drive Mr. Peanut's Nutmobile. Can you believe this? There are job openings for a new crew of planters, peanutters, the brand ambassadors who also pilot the Nutmobile. Accompanied by the Mr. Peanut mascot, the peanutter, peanutters also do events and media interviews from coast to coast. So if you or someone you know would be interested, simply apply online. What a fun job that would be. This is such a fun job. Now, I know mostly college students are the ones that they're looking for, but this is a fun job for anybody Any age. to do. I have seen the peanut mobile, the wiener mobile. Yes. That seems like such a fun job to be able to travel across the country and represent uh, those companies. So very, very fun. Yes. If Being you a have person. a college student that applies and if they get it, Please let us know. We got to know. We love to follow them across the country as uh, they do this really Those fun job. Crazy oh nutters. Yes. Now, if you're having a little cabin fever over oh, the past year, you are not alone with coronavirus vaccinations ramping up. Travel bookings are surging. So that could be a good thing. Yeah. Uh, of course, 2020, the worst year in history for air demand travel. <laughs> That's according to International Air Transport Association. Passenger traffic fell more than 65% globally. But an analyst with TripAdvisor says many people are actively planning trips for later this year and into 2022. Jason, mm. what's one of the first places you and your family would love to go yes. once Great you guys question. feel comfortable? The Maldives or the Maldives. Yes, yes. go big for sure. Uh, go big for sure. That Jill has been looking at photos of like a <laughs> tropical vacation for the last year because she's nice. like, and, and even brought on more since we're in these freezing conditions right. right now. It's like, let's get out of here and head to the beach. So. Yes, uh, confession. I've been watching Caribbean Life and Bahamas Life at there home just to kind of feel some warmth.